Hey everybody, Tom Coyle from becometheultimateyou.life and today we're going to talk about and I'm going to walk you through a workout I use when I don't have a lot of time and frankly with two babies trying to do a business and having a, a day job and a bunch of other things, I don't have a lot of time so I have to make the most of my opportunities but I'm pretty fit and so it's about following certain principles. Um, doing it frequently, varying up your intensity, your time and your type. And we're going to incorporate all of these into this circuit. Now, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing some dips, some crunches, some push-ups, uh, some flutter kicks, and we're going to close with some elevated push-ups. It's going to hit a couple different, oh, actually, um, then we'll go back to uh, another set of dips and we'll do, uh, and we'll close with uh, crazy Ivans. Let me do that again. What we're going to do here, I'm going to walk you through it in a circuit of exercises. And we're going to be varying it up between um, upper body and core exercises. And what we're going to do is we're not going to rest. We're going to go through the entire circuit without resting. And what that's going to do, it's going to, it's going to create what I like to call, well, not what I like to call, P90X uses the term muscle confusion. It's a similar type of principle. What you're doing is you're shocking your body, so to speak, by going from one thing to the next in rapid succession. And so even though you're not used to doing it for a lot of time, you're taking advantage of the intensity, which is gonna give you a quality workout despite not having a lot of time. That's one of the biggest myths is that you need time to exercise. So watch as I go through it and follow along. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing 30 second sets for each of these. So I've got my, I just had my phone serving as my stopwatch. Oh, in my pocket. So my stopwatch is gonna go. So we're gonna kick this thing off with our push-ups. seconds. And stop. All right, quickly, we're switching. Now we're going to crunches. Do not put your hands behind your head. Don't forget to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in for two seconds, breathe out for three seconds. That's the goal. Do the best you can. All right, 30 seconds. I went a little long on that because I forgot to stop my stopwatch. Now we're on to dips. Uh, dips basically you put your legs out in an L-shaped pattern almost from the thing. I'm using the arm of my sofa. And begin. Ten seconds left. And stop. All right. Jumping right into the flutter kicks. You're going to lay back. Um, so flatten your back. Tilt your neck up. Keep your legs about 45 degree angle. Maybe a little less than that. If your 90 is too high. Obviously, you want to be up. So just about two of my couches. It's about the right kind of length. And start.
10 seconds left. Try to keep your legs straight. And stop. All right. Next, we're going to go to elevated push ups. Basically, using the couch as an elevation platform. And then just do the same push we did here. Ten seconds left. And stop. All right. As you can see here, I'm still gonna mess a failure. I have rehearsed this a few times and now I'm doing it. So that's okay. Working hard. Now we're gonna shift to our last exercise, crazy items. So you're basically wanna you're on your butt, almost making a V with your body and your legs, crossing your arms, and you're gonna go side to side. And I can demonstrate the front, so you can kind of see this, like this. And we're gonna do that again, 30 seconds, and go. And stop. So, there you go. That's one circuit. Um, just one of those, I feel like I got some. My blood's pumping. I feel good. Did some exercise. My arm's a little tired. Got some core workout in. And the whole length of this video is... I have this little stupid alert thing in there. So this entire video from my intro to right now is seven minutes long. Seven minutes and 53 seconds on my screen exactly. So in seven minutes, I've done a complete circuit. My arms are pretty tired. Got some good core workout. So you can also vary how, you can, you can basically rotate this circuit. Like one way of doing it, rest two minutes, to the whole circuit again. And you can do this as many times as you want. Um, my, I, my goal when I do a full thing is to do four circuits. So basically, do what I just did, rest for two minutes, do the circuit again, rest two minutes, finalize the circuit. That's what I want to just bring up to you. You might, might reach muscle failure. So what you want to do is still do the exercise with the full motion. So in the case of push-ups, where well, you're most likely going to get this muscle failure, it's okay to go to your knees. Like, see how my knees are right here? So I can try to get that better in the camera for you. I'm on my knees, almost like a 90 degree angle there. But I'm still working the body. Still get some exercise out of it. So that's what you can do if you get to muscle failure. Picking up push-ups, the arm exercises. When it comes to the dips, get muscle failure there. You know, you just vary. How much how far out your legs are the further you rock from your chair the more you work in the muscles if you get muscle failure walk your legs back even put a little bend in them give you some support like here's another thing where i've got my legs bent a little bit now i'm just kind of i'm still giving my arms the work but i'm you know accepting the fact that there's reality it's muscle failure and it doesn't matter how early you get to muscle failure you just want to keep working through the exercise and uh, if 30 seconds is a little too much for you, start with 15 seconds. Go on, here's the camera angle's a little less awkward. So, hope this is helpful for you. And why does this work? Because we, we, we are basically bursting. We do an exercise, we're doing it for an intense, short period of time, all out, and we quickly switch to something different. So, 
we're basically going here from upper body to core, to upper body to core, and we're doing it very, very quickly. And it's important you don't rest between exercises because that's what's creating the physiological effects in your body that allow you to succeed in this workout because what's gonna up your calorie burn and what's gonna help make your body work hard is this constant transitioning. So what it's, going, what it's doing behind this, the science behind this, it's forcing your metabolism to work faster, to keep up what you're doing because you're shocked the body. And the body doesn't know when it's gonna stop. So this is helping you lose weight, burn calories by shocking your system, so to speak. So it's important not to get rest between exercises if you reach that muscle failure point, do what I did. You'll bend your knees during the dips a little bit, bring your body closer to you. Use your knees on the push-ups. Um, ab exercises, uh, a little tougher, but you know, if you're doing the flutter kicks, raise your legs up 90 degrees real quick, then go back to doing the exercise. But basically just keep doing the best you can. You're gonna do better. Shoot for the 30 second goal. Maybe I get there in stages. Maybe the first time you do it, you're doing 15 seconds, then 20 seconds, but then 30. But no more than 30 seconds, that's enough to hit each exercise and rapidly transition. Hope this has been helpful for you. Love to hear your results.